enforcement has announced preliminary results from Operation Optical Illusion, a law enforcement operation targeting non-immigrant students who fraudulently used the optional practical training program to remain in the United States, making 15 arrests of non-immigrant students. The 15 arrests took place in and around Boston, Massachusetts, the Washington, D.C. area, Houston, Texas, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Newark, New Jersey, Nashville, Tennessee, as well as Pittsburgh and Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. The OPT program is a work program that is most commonly coupled with people with student visas. And as the director said, while it's based on people's student status here in the United States, 99% of them have already graduated. Um, so this is really a work program that effectively competes with potential American workers. And if that's the case, it is important from this president's perspective that the rules be strictly followed and enforced um, because the consequence is denying American workers jobs. These individuals are supposed to be doing jobs closely associated with their degree paths or their degrees for those who've graduated. Um, they're not allowed to just go do any job at all. This is intended to be practical training. That was the concept behind the establishment of this program. And so it's intended to be vocation-like. It's an opportunity to get experience in, in the subject these people have studied. If they are far afield from that field of study, they are not qualifying for the work permits. They are not qualified to stay here in the United States. And that's what ICE is policing in terms of those people staying here in the United States and USCIS. Um, as we speak, is issuing over 1,100, uh, well, that's not true. They're issuing about 700 letters today uh, to um, a, a group of over 1,100 uh, foreign nationals that ICE identified that are here uh, out of status, is our term, which means it looks like they're not obeying the law. And uh, while ICE will seek to remove those folks, um, USCIS today sent notice to about 700 of them that their work permits are going to be revoked. And that will open up those jobs for American workers. Proud to report that there were 15 administrative arrests conducted by HSI special agents in the following locations. Boston, Massachusetts, Washington, D.C., Houston, Texas, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Newark, New Jersey, Nashville, Tennessee, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is why we are here today. In addition to those administrative actions that were taken by HSI special agents, we also have additional particulars to report on the contacts with other students that were involved in this initiative. 22 have left the country. 11 have returned to academic programs at SEVP certified schools. 29 have moved on to new OPT employers. 18 are pending an immigration benefit with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Seven have obtained a new valid status. 18 have moved to new AORs, areas of responsibility, that will be subjected to contact by HSI special agents in those areas to validate particulars as it relates to their OPT status and 41 have yet to be located as of today. I want to say that with those 41, they will be subject to continuous vetting by the Counterterrorism and Criminal Exploitation Unit in an effort to identify information to confirm their whereabouts. And from there, the leads will be tasked to appropriate field offices for action as deemed appropriate. Amongst those who are arrested are 11 Indian nationals, two Libyan nationals, one Senegalese national and one Bangladeshi national. ICE notes in a news release that OPT enables non-immigrant students to work in the United States in positions related to their field of study for up to one year, with an additional 24 months if the student participates in STEM optional practical training permitted to students with F1 and M1 student visas. Time for another quick break.